Hey, welcome to our Halloween math special. That's right, we're gonna be doing some scary math problems. We're gonna be doing double digit subtraction with regrouping, but don't worry, don't get too scared out there. We're gonna take it step by step, easy cheesy lemon squeezy. And along the way, we're gonna have a little fun. Check that out, isn't that cool? All right, let's take a look at our first problem right here. We have 73 minus 26. Now, if you notice right here, this is not going to be three. It's not three minus six. You kind of have to say to yourself, I have three cookies and you want to take six away. It's not going to happen. We need to make that number bigger. How do you make that bigger? We're going to borrow from next door. So I'm going to go ahead and cross off the seven and that's going to make it a six. All right. So I'm taking a 10 away from there actually, and I'm going to put it and add it to the three and that's going to make it a 13. So I'm just going to Put, uh, now there's two different ways you can do that. You can cross off the three and then put a 13 like that, or you can just put the one right next to the three. Both ways are okay. So now I'm able to subtract 13 minus six. What is it? That's right, it's seven. So I put seven right here, and then I can go ahead and subtract my tens. These are the ones and these are the tens. So six minus two, what is it? Four. Yeah, so I'm gonna put four right here. Wasn't too bad, was it? Ready to do another one? Yeah, let's do it. All right, we got another one right here. Like I said, some of these problems my class would get hung up on, and here is 70 minus 39. I would have a lot of students just put down nine. They like, okay, zero minus nine. No, you gotta always tell yourself you have like zero cookies, and you're gonna take nine of them away. You can't do it. It's not nine minus zero. So I need to borrow again. So I'm gonna borrow from next door. And so I'm gonna take one away from the seven, which would be a six. And then I'm gonna put that one right here. Just kind of a little one, just kind of just tells me like, eh, change the value right there. And now that is a 10. Now, again, you could cross off the zero if you wanted to and put a 10 up there, whatever works for you. So now I can go ahead and do it. 10 minus nine equals right one so i put one right here and then six minus three three uno dos tres a little spanish for you so i'm gonna go ahead and put three right there ready to do another one yeah let's do it all right take a look at this problem right here what, you got 46 and you want to take away 46. now i did have a couple students and they would not put anything right there they just left it blank and i asked them well why did you leave that blank and they said, well, it, it's zero, but we need a number to represent zero. So that would be zero. You need to put zero right here. I also had a couple students put in two zeros just like that. And so I kind of reminded them that there's no digit with just, just two zeros. You don't say 46 minus 46 equals zero, zero. No, 46 minus 46 equals zero. So you gotta erase this zero right here and just keep it right there. Now, sometimes people will write the zero differently and they'll put like a slash through here. That also represents zero. Ready to do another one? Yeah, let's do it. All right, uh, this is our challenging last problem right here and is 81 minus 62. Now, when some of my students, they're doing the math problems and they're doing really quickly and they just all of a sudden they, uh, they put down uh, one minus two and they just put down one and, and then I have to remind them again, say it to yourself, one minus two, one take away two, one cookie, you're taking away two, it's not gonna be one, no. So you have to make sure to make that top number bigger. Always look at that. So I need to borrow one from the eight, this will be a seven, this turns into 11, 11 minus two, <laughs> yeah, you're right, it is nine. Seven minus six, one, there's our answer. Boo! <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for joining us on our Halloween math special. Make sure you check out our other videos. We're gonna have a lot more videos coming up and I'd sure appreciate it if you can hit the subscribe button to this channel. Also, check right there. We have a new channel called Dino Math. Dinosaurs, mathematics, Beyblade X's, toys. It, we're having so much fun. If you can hit the link over there, go over there, hit the subscribe button, check out some of those videos. Let me know what you think. And uh, of course, get outside and do some playing.
And don't forget to be careful out there for the next scary math problem. All right, have a fun day. Adios, goodbye.